Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everyone's doing well this evening. Uh, tonight, for episode 34 on Carl's Spirits, we're going to be uh, tasting Rowan's Creek Kentucky Bourbon. That's Rowan's Creek Kentucky Bourbon. Uh, Rowan's Creek, out of Bardstown, Kentucky, is a brand owned by Willett Distillery. Willett uh, produces their own line. Yeah. Uh, of titled uh, bourbons, but they also own Kentucky Bourbon Distillers. And this is their production line for boutique bourbons, or boutique bourbons, if you will. And that includes uh, Rowan's Creek, its sister bourbon, uh, Noah's Mill, as well as uh, another uh, boutique bourbon, Johnny Drum. So most of their own production goes into their self-titled uh, bourbon expressions. The production for the bourbon, uh, the boutique bourbons, such as Rowan's Creek, uh, goes through uh, KBD, Kentucky Bourbon Distillers. It is sourced. And uh, Rowan's Creek, of course, is included in this. So this is a sourced bourbon from Willett. Uh, the, the cool thing to me about the Rowan's Creek bourbon story is that it is actually named after the small creek that winds through the Willett property. In turn, the creek is named after a man by the name of John, or yes, John Will, uh, Rowan, John Rowan. John Rowan was a famous Kentuckian of the 1800s. He was a judge, uh, a, a famous politician and statesman of the 1800s. And uh, he's immortalized in another way other than just Rowan's Creek bourbon. Have you ever heard the song, my old Kentucky home. Well, the home that was the subject of the song belonged to John Rowan. So uh, John Rowan has uh, definitely made an impression on, on Kentucky and uh, now on the bourbon world. Originally, Rowan's Creek bourbon was bottled as a 12-year-old product. Uh, it has since lost its age statement probably about an eight-year product now, maybe a seven, maybe a nine. It's somewhere in that area, uh, but it is really unknown, as is the mash bill. Will it, uh, their source whiskeys uh, remain unknown on the mash bill? There are no age statements either. Now, personally, I'm saying uh, on the uh, mash bill for Rowan's Creek, it has a rather large rye percentage maybe as high as 20% or so. It is bottled at 101 proof. That's 100, no, excuse me, I take that back, 100.1 proof. You got to love that little point one there. Uh, yeah, 100.1 proof is the proof of Rowan's Creek. Uh, in the glass, it's a nice medium amber color. Uh, a little shade to the darker side, but not quite as bad. Uh, it's got beautiful lines, very sticky on that glass. In fact, they don't move. So, uh, uh, you know, good job on that. Uh, in the nose, very vanilla, very, very vanilla. Uh, some uh, dark fruits there as well. I'm also getting some darker chocolates. But the thing that really stands out to me is that dry corn. It's not a sweet corn. It's not a green corn. It's dry. Um, I'm trying to think of, you know, this is corn in the, in the granary. This is corn in the crib. It's dry. It's hard, dry, dusty corn uh, is the smell I'm getting here. So taste, Rowan's Creek. It has a, a warm profile to start with. And there's some spice, which I think is that higher rye percentage really coming out. But it's very manageable. There's not a lot of burn there. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising for what I think is a higher rye. There's lots of oaky flavors. Not the vanilla and caramel, but oaky flavors. Like, um, like the inside of a barrel oak flavor. Uh, full disclosure, I think this does better with a couple of drops of water and a few minutes to really mellow. 
I think it releases more uh, notes in that case. In this case, uh, definitely more chocolate, which I got on the nose, but also more molasses. So uh, more of an earthy, sugary smell and taste. The mouthfeel is on the oily side. Really coach the mouth on that. So what about a finish? It's a medium long, very dry finish, and it lingers in the throat and the upper chest. The really, the big note that stands out here is that dry, dusty corn um, note. Again, right down here in the throat, it's a very dry, dusty uh, feel. Uh, kind of take uh, corn flakes without all the sugar. Uh, that's that's kind of the smell you're getting. It's a very dry, dusty. It's almost musty smelling. Uh, perhaps not dry, but musty smelling or tasting corn here on the finish of Rowan's Creek. Overall, I enjoy this. Uh, the more I spend with it, uh, kind of the less I like it. To be quite honest, I like it out of the out of the out of the bottle, and uh, after a couple of drinks in. It's beginning to have different notes that make themselves known through the taste. They're not off-putting, so I don't want to say I don't like it, but I do. Uh, it, it's a kind of a confusing bourbon for me, to be really honest. The price is fairly reasonable, upper 30s, lower 40s. Uh, but I think that corn note, uh, that dry, dusty or musty corn note is so different that I don't think new uh, bourbon drinkers should buy a bottle right out of the out of the gate. Go have a have a glass somewhere at your favorite bourbon bar. Uh, try it. See what you think about it. And that's true of any of these that I've reviewed. Overall, I like this pour. Uh, it's flavorful. It's not overly complex. Corn, some chocolate, some oak. Uh, it's a little drier than I kind of prefer. Uh, it doesn't uh, do. Yeah you know, really wowy things on the taste buds. But it's 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 a good, solid bourbon. And uh, I'm going to give this a four stars on the Carl, Carl scale. So four stars for Rowan's Creek. Uh, guys, I hope everyone uh, is uh, safe. Of course, uh, peace and happy pours.